I'm in Starbucks today and I'm working on layouts and designs for the step form. And I've done a little bit of work in Adobe Illustrator and uh, looking at Pinterest account. And uh, these are just rough designs, nothing locked in stone, it's just ideas. Taking the very best of the seven uh, layouts and designs that were submitted and sort of creating a hybrid and adapting those to my needs and adding some few things that I want in the designs. I'm a little bit jealous of those of you who have this incredible CAD uh, building experience. I'm working here in Adobe Illustrator because I'm a graphic designer and this is what I know how to use. And this is just a rough mock-up um, initial design. This is not set in stone. I'm still thinking about it. But this is a hybrid of the seven design submissions that I received, taking all of those ideas and then tweaking a little bit to my, um, my personal taste. So this is the front of the van up here. This is the back of the van with the little entry doors in the back. So I'll walk you through my design so far. And again, this is rough design. This little area here would be a closet. And this is maybe the height of the driver's seat, which is on the opposite side. And then you can enter, it's a half closet. So it's the height of maybe a shirt and then below it would be some drawers. Next to it, uh, this entire area would be a worktop bench um, for the kitchen area. Uh, where you can see sort of a sink here. I'm gonna plan on having an induction electric um, stove top that's running off of solar rather than having gas. Um, I've looked at a number of RVs and motorhomes that have these, and it's actually a pretty efficient way to go. They're really uh, good on using a little amount of electricity for a maximum amount of heat and I should be able to power that easily on four to six hundred watts of solar panels which I'm planning on putting on the roof at some point. Um, I've been thinking a little bit about the ideas of putting in some sort of a stealth hidden bathroom toilet so I'm reserving this space here um, and I've got some creative ideas that I'll do in a later video on that. Over here is the cub wood-burning stove, and I'm planning on putting that over a wheel well here with a steel uh, metal barrier. This is sort of a heat barrier with a air gap behind it. So you only require about a three inch space between the wood stove and this metal barrier as long as you have the air gap behind it. So that should fit real nice here. This stove will be elevated to the same height as the countertop. So you can put something on the stove if the stove happens to be running to heat it and then transfer it over to the countertop. So both of these are the same height. And then below this I'll have a metal platform with some, um, some wood that I'll be putting in there. So this entire thing's gonna be up above the wheel well by probably oh, 10 to 12 inches uh, in height, something like that. Back here, I'll have the benches that are opposite each other with the table that can be removed for access to the back when I want access to the back, and then move the table off to the side um, or drop the table into the same height as the benches to create a queen size bed that'll go across this entire back width. A couple more storage closets back here with bookshelves that'll face inward. This will be a little bookshelf again. Uh, dividing seats. Basically all these green areas are seats. Dark green for the area that you actually sit on. The light green for the cushion in the back which will probably have uh, bookshelves along the back end um, at about shoulder width when you're uh, shoulder height when you're sitting. So this will be a long bookshelf that goes along the wall and a long bookshelf that goes along the wall. So that'll be pretty much the entire uh, bookshelf area was this area along the wall here, the bookshelf divider in the middle, and then bookshelves that are facing inward from the closet space. I'm um, not really planning on having more bookshelves than that. I think I'm going to do something unique up here, at least unique to me, putting in seating bench space here that faces sort of inward towards the social space, but this is also the face faces the windshield. So the windshield is up here and so what I'm thinking is that you're, you'll sit with your butt here and hang your legs off this front edge of the bench and I'll create a 
backrest that will go against this area here with one inch square tubing, metal tubing that will hold the bench in place and can be removed when I'm parked and socializing and then reinstalled when I want to drive. And then I could attach seat belts uh, through to this point somehow so you can look forward and sit on this bench uh, as uh, passenger seating. So that's one idea I have for passenger seating. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to work that out, but uh, that's a tentative design that I have that I'm working on. What I'd like to do is create two beds inside of the step van. The first bed will be a slat bed that extends. You can see in a sample here, this is a Pinterest uh, graphic. This is uh, some images that I have on Pinterest. Here you can see when it's collapsed. And then here it is expanded. And you take the cushions from the back and you lay it in this expanded area to give yourself a full width bed. When I was a child, uh, we had a StarCraft camper. It was one of those uh, tent campers. The top was made out of canvas cloth, and then the bottom was uh, sort of this small little cube, and the beds expanded out. In the center, they had a dinette. It was uh, two benches you know, with a table in the middle, and the table had a leg on it. And then the table would collapse uh, to form a bed. What I'd like to do is put two benches in the back of the van and the area where your feet go and the knees and the foot space would be the center area that also accesses the back doors. In the center I intend on having a single leg or double leg table that will sit there and this table is similar to this one and the table will collapse into the center to make a bed. Here's another example. It has a single leg here and this table goes into the center area here to make this a bed and then you use the cushions from the back area to fill in the gap in the middle. That's all I have for this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed the little design ideas I'm coming up with. Feel free to make some comments, some suggestions. I just love having people contribute to the brainstorming ideas for my step van. Savor the moment. See you next episode.